I'm tryna put you in my worst mood P1 cleaner than your church shoes Really point to just I hurt you Hello you guys, so I just got to the gym and it is currently 11.30 because I was going to go to the gym earlier but then I got caught up doing some work stuff that I needed to do that I wanted to get done before I come like in the morning. I just did that first and now we're at the gym. It's such a beautiful day. I'm so happy the weather's turning around at least for this weekend. It's going to be like in the high 20s like it could go to 30 degrees celsius by the way so that's like pretty hot but yeah i'm just so happy finally we're seeing some sun like i'm just so happy about it and i hope it continues like this but you guys i'm in the midst of booking a trip get excited i'm so excited oh my goodness anyways i just had a protein bar on the way here but now we're gonna have my magic mind shots also i'm getting my nails done saturday so don't worry these ugly ass nails are going because i've gotten comments about it also i literally got a comment about my hair being too dark this is my natural hair color like i don't dye it it's my natural so <laughs> last time i came to the gym was i think about a week ago now and the reason why i didn't come for a week is because i got such bad freaking cramps afterwards because of my iud and i'm guessing that working out triggered those cramps so i've been scared to work out for the past week but I've been a lot better, so I'm really hoping that it stays okay down there. Fingers crossed, because I gave it another week. So I'm really hoping that it's okay now to work out. Anyways, let's go work out and enjoy this sunny day. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. P1 cleaners in your church shoes. Millie point two just to hurt you. All red lamps to tease you. None of these toys on these two. Made your whole year in a week two. Game bitch out of your link two. Stop bitch out of your link two. So I'm taking a centerpiece. 20 rooms of table come from Ebony. That average to skinny pieces. That you clean up with a face. Hello you guys, so I have Lexi here with me, who are now neighbors, and we're going thrifting. So my friend texted me the other day because I was complaining about how Value Village is so overpriced. And Lexi said they had like a system where they do like, what is it? 50? They they look up the item and then they mark it down by 50%. So basically Value Village is a ripoff because 50% off of like a used item. Of a donated item. A donated used item. I want to be paying like 10% of the real price or 5%. Like that's thrifting to me. So she recommended this thrift store that's called the Salvation Army and i've never been there before and she's like oh my god how i've never been there before like i found such good stuff there like i found i think she said like aritzia stuff and like good quality stuff and apparently it's reasonably priced and apparently there's like a lot of home decor there too yeah oh i'm excited so we're gonna go check it out and i'll let you guys know hopefully we have like a haul like i'm i'm like ooh, mm -hmm. but we only I have like an hour and a half money. okay let's, let's, so go. let's go So we just went thrifting and Salvation Army is really the shit you guys. It was actually good. Okay, first of all, the vibes are just better than Value Village. That specific Salvation Army that we went to, it was just like so nice and it was clean, it didn't smell bad. And I just feel like Value Village, when I go in there, it gives me kind of a headache because of the lighting. Is it just me? No, not you. 
Mm -hmm. The smell. And there's never windows in Value Village for some reason. Every Value Village I've been to doesn't have like windows. There's like the doors at the front, but there's no windows inside. It's dark and musty. But this one had like huge windows and it was just so nice. I don't know. It was a vibe in there and I don't know how I've never heard of it before, but I'm glad that I did mm -hmm. because it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be too. And I don't know if it's just that, that location that we went to that was really good, but yeah, we got a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right before we were about to check out and we were like leaving, was she a worker? She was a worker, right? I thought she was just a random old lady. Was she? Probably. This lady, I don't know if we don't know if she's a worker or not. Probably not. But she I, I thought she was a worker at first. Okay. She came up to us and she was like, Oh, here you ladies go. And she gave us two 20% off coupons. And I was like, shut up. She justified my purchases for me. Yeah, Lexi got a lot. She got two Aritzia items. To a have a talk. Oh, okay. Give me my shoe. Here's your shoes. Okay. I got this white cover up, button up cover button up cover up. <laughs> it's by Ralph Lauren, so it's good quality. And I have like a white button cover up, but it's really oversized. So this one is like more fitted. Fit. Yes. So it kind of gives two different vibes, even though they're both white cover-ups. It's two different vibes. I just went ham with the cover-ups here because I love wearing these over a bathing suit in the summer. So bear with me. So I got this pink one and it's like pink stripes. I don't know if you can even tell. I really like this one. But it's really cute. And I got to fix the sleeves, like cut them or something just because like they're kind of weird. They're huge. If you mess up cutting them, I'll sew it for you. Yeah. So Lexi might Which is cut me. above the seam. Like don't cut the stitch and then oh. roll them. Oh. Good to so know. then, yeah. Good to know. So I'm gonna need to do something with the sleeves, but other than that, it's so cute. And the, the, co the color, like you, you, yeah, you can. Like in the summer, over a bathing suit. Oh my goodness! And the prices were so much better than Value White Village. White jean shorts would be so cute. And then it got another cover up. I was really debating this one, but then I looked at the price and I was like, it's literally five dollars. So I can't really go wrong with it. It's like a blue striped one, so it's similar to this pink one but it's just like a blue version and i don't know these cover-ups are just gonna be so cute in the summer and i feel like they're really in right now over like a bathing suit and last but not least i got these shorts and i tried them over my sweatpants so because the changing rooms are closed so i'm really hoping that they actually fit but they're just kind of a black like normal black pair of shorts and they were only five dollars so i couldn't pass them up i was like even if they don't fit it's fine yeah they're kind of like shorter and i only have like longer shorts right now so i mean this in the summer with like a bathing suit top with a cover-up cute that's cute and in total mm -hmm. i only spent for all this it was 23 dollars. this case this is the babaton skirt but it's a double zero and i just i don't know but it was 12 dollars and for it's babaton, a double like slit Aritzia. and it's like Brand new. No, like, it's, it's not even worn. It doesn't even look like anybody wore it. Then I got this coat, which like you're gonna be like, what the heck? But on on, it's like green and it's like quite structured. It's and, very nice. Yeah, like it get, it's just a vibe when it's on. Then we've got this pink blazer from Dynamite, and I like it because it's like a more casual blazer, like loose fitted, doesn't need to be dressy, but it could be dressy. And she has the same one in nude. Like she already has it, so now she got it in a different color. For and I don't wear that often but like when you need it it's like you need to have it you know yeah this man's is literally staring <laughs> he was really staring. okay then i got this like pencil skirt looks very blank like bland but chef's kiss and it's got a slit in the back and it, that slit added yeah this yeah most that was like detail. the deal breaker then god it keeps going i got this men's hoodie because you know <laughs> no boyfriend so that's what we gotta do <laughs> thrift in the men's section no it's, that is that's so nice though it's vibey it is and comfortable on. oh my god in the summer nice for style. a campfire Oh, we love bundling in the summer, like with a hoodie on in the summer. And shorts, that's oh my, my favorite. Goodness. When it's summer night, where it's warm, but you can, it's not too warm that you can wear a hoodie, but you can mm -hmm. still have shorts on. Okay, and then these Babaton pants, I literally own, and these are a size four, and I wear them to work, at, like, all the time. And so it's, like, to have a second pair is so nice. And they're, like, $100 pants. They're $125. You got them for $10? They're 10 I don't think the people pricing this shit knew that that was a Ritzia. No, and they're, like, again... Where, like who wore Brand them? Who, That's actually unsure. insane. Okay, then this is probably one of my favorite pieces. Oh. It looks so meh, but like 
on. On? Yes, it's so It was unreal. Cute. Like, just as a cover-up in the summer. <laughs> and very my style. But yeah, honestly, like, just buying pieces that you like, no matter if it's, like, yeah. No matter if it's, like, in style or not. Those are the pieces that you're, you're gonna keep the longest in your wardrobe. Is stuff that you genuinely like, regardless of if it's in style or not. So that's how I've been trying to shop recently. Is, like, buying things if I like them, not based on if they're in. A lot of things that I buy on a whim it's like they're trendy but then like a month later i'm like ooh, i don't like this anymore so okay you guys so i would love to give a big thank you to joy young for sponsoring this video so they have a bunch of appliances and they actually sent me a juicer so i'm so excited because you guys know i love juicing and i used to juice all the time but that was before i moved out and i actually didn't have a juicer before they sent me this so i'm so excited about it and the juice came out amazing i just love juicing because it's such an easy and delicious way to get your nutrients in to get your fruits veggies and whatever you want to put in there i even put ginger in mine this juicer was honestly the best one i've ever used and i'm not just saying that because it's sponsored but it was quiet it did not make like a loud noise at all like the ones at home that i used to have and it juiced seamlessly it was so easy to clean and it was also so easy to put together they had a really clear instruction manual Manual for how to set everything up so I just had to follow those instructions and I was good to go so they do have this juicer on Amazon if you guys want to go in the description box and use my code you guys can get a $20 off coupon to the product at checkout and since it's Amazon it delivers super fast and you can also follow Joy Young on TikTok for more recipes and also on YouTube so in this specific juice I made I put apples carrots swiss chard cucumbers kale and then i also put ginger and you want to make sure that when you're making a juice you put a good amount of like apples or carrots it's just like something sweet because if you juice greens it's gonna make it super bitter and i've learned that the hard way one time i juiced like a whole thing of kale with like one apple and that tasted horrible because i didn't put enough like sweetness in it so make sure if you're planning on getting a juicer and you're gonna start to juice to add your sweetness but sometimes i even like making immunity shots so for those i'll just kind of mix ginger with a green and then make it like very unsweet so i'll put like maybe one apple in there only because it's a shot so it's not like you're trying to enjoy this juice if that makes sense it's just like an immune shot and i love making those as well if you guys have any tips on how to preserve like the fresh juice in the fridge let me know because i know it only lasts for i think it's at 48 hours online in the fridge so i'm pretty sure you can freeze it but i'm not 100 percent sure so let me know if you guys have experience with juicing but anyways this juice turned out so delicious and it's so healthy and it seriously just gives you all the nutrients that you need in a delicious cup of juice but yeah anyway so this juicer was awesome and if you guys want to shop it again there'll be a link in my description for you to get a discount code if you would like but yeah thank you to joy young for sponsoring this video and i'm so excited that i have a juicer now and i get to use it from now on hello so it is the first real summer day it's gonna be like 30 degrees today and we're about to go get our nails done i've gotten like at least three comments of people complaining about my nails mine are all broken i have my middle finger is broken and my thumb is broken yeah mine are just ratchet like i'm pretty sure they're gonna look at them and be like ew but it's fine because we're gonna get them fixed i'm gonna get i'll show you the photo my photo inspo. you guys you are not used to michaela her nails used to always be ratchet i like, just like really never care didn't care i never really i it just has never been in me to really care about You're my commenting nails now but you know that they've been like that for at yeah. least like five six years yeah it, it's always been like that but like i'll go through phases where like i'll really care and i'll get them done um and then i'll go through other phases where i just don't give a shit and i just leave them so it just really depends on the mood we're in and you know i don't really care that much anyways this is the inspo so i really want to get like pink french tips i find this is so cute so that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna look a lot better than what i have right now so we're gonna do that and then we're going to go to the beach which i'm so excited it's the first it feels like the first real summer day we were listening to like country music on the way here and finally it feels like summer i'm so happy anyways i'll show you guys my nails when i'm done um turn left into here but anyways i'll show you guys my nails when we're done i'm so excited
hello you guys so i just got a keratin treatment done on my hair if you guys haven't been watching my videos for a while you wouldn't know that i got a keratin treatment done about eight months ago and what it does is it basically like coats your hair with protein and whatever and it makes it super shiny and silky and then when you wash it and stuff it dries really really freaking nice so my natural hair texture is like super frizzy and curly and it's just very unmanageable because my hair is super thick so I really enjoy doing it like it's life-changing to me because after I take a shower and stuff I can just let my hair air dry not even worry about it and so this is the best thing ever for me and it saves me so much time it's very expensive like i paid 500 dollars for this but it's so worth it to me and it also depends on like your hair length and hair thickness and all that but anyways i'm so happy about it and to have it again because it like washed out so it wasn't really in my hair anymore because it does wash out over time but it lasted me quite a while so i'm so happy and it's worth the money to me 1000 percent it completely changes my hair texture like it's so makes it so soft and i'm so happy anyways we're going to the beach today me joel and madison my sister and it's gonna be a fun time it's like it's gonna be 31 degrees celsius today so it's super hot and i'm gonna vlog the day so i'm just gonna drive home now I'm gonna put you in my worst mood Be one cleaner than your church shoes Really point to just to hurt you All red lamps to tease you None of these toys on these two Made your whole year in a week too Game bitch out of your league too Stop bitch out of your league too So I'm taking you to turn a piece 20 rocks a table come from Ebony that average to skinny pieces Let you clean up with a face when I love my baby You talking money, need a urinate You talking about me, I don't feel shit Switch up my size, it's a candy lane Switch up my cup, I can't any pain Lick what you done My motherfucking star, boy 